Now, health experts have called for an increase in taxes paid on sugar sweetened beverages from the current 10 naira to 130 naira in order to discourage excessive consumption by members of the public. Addressing a press conference in Lagos, the Executive Director of Corporate Accountability and Public Participation in Africa, Kappa, Akimbade Olua Femi, disclosed that 99% of illnesses are as a result of excessive consumption of sugar sweetened beverages. For more than two hours, these men of the media profession emerged in this official launch of the research report on sugar sweetened beverage. SSB Taxi Nigeria, organized by Corporate Accountability and Public Participation Africa, CAPA. The aim is for them to have first hand information on the outcome of the research on the potential fiscal and public health effects of sugar sweetened beverage task in Nigeria. According to the group, the report is a comprehensive analysis of the SSB tax, including the potential impact on both the fiscal landscape and public health outcomes in Nigeria. Akimbade Oluwafemi is the executive director of CAPA. Highlighting more on the report, he calls on Nigerians to engage in healthy lifestyles by consuming less of what is destructive to the body. That tax is not just for government to earn revenue, it is to protect the Nigerian uh, citizens, it is for public health. The tax is to ensure that there is decrease in the consumption of products that are causing NCDs in Nigeria. Products that causes diabetes, high blood pressure, and are also related to, to the cancers and the rest of them. And so you've got to introduce a tax that will induce reduction in consumption. In his presentation, a research associate, Center for the Studies of Economic of Africa, Fidelis Obaniyi, calls for an effective SSB tax regime. He holds strongly that it will go a long way in reducing consumption of SSB as well as the burden of non-communicable diseases while generating revenue for public health initiatives. Not only the economy should believe that okay, if you increase tax, the body of that tax will be shifted from the industry to the consumers. But we are also ex expecting a non-price response. A non-price response in this case is product reformulation. Product reformulation in the sense that the industry too be will begin to adjust in terms of the content, the sugar content of their products. On her part, Okweyemi Ibitoye paints a more gloomy picture on the consequences of too much intake of SSB. The sense of taking something in your body that won't have any positive effect on your body or in your body. So there, there's basically no need for us to take sugary drinks. The best you can do is to just opt for water or take um, fresh juices that they are free from sugar. Things that are fruit juices that you make at home uh, or juices that you know that you trust the source. And so, these are just basically what sugary drinks are. But then, when we look at its impacts in NC, on NCDs, we realize that NCDs, they place a global burden, not just in Nigeria, but they are a global burden on, on health globally. A Nigerian living with diabetes who continues to consume coke will not be able to properly take care of his or herself. And that, alone, that is just one angle. There is a family member that is taking care of that person. Who would begin to lose productive hours? Who, a, an unpaid caregiver, who cannot earn from his or her normal work and can still not earn from giving care to that person? This is why we are saying the SSB tax is a triple win. A win for the individual, a win for the government, and a win for public health. According to the report, Nigeria ranks fourth globally in SSB consumption with an annual sale of approximately 38.6 million liters in a market value at $16.87 billion in 2023. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.